does your life look like this and you see the world as dull and gray this is how i used to see the world before i started fulfilling my creativity through youtube videos just like some of you who may be watching this video i thought that life was so boring i was just working my routine nine to five and thought that i wasn't a creative person but turns out that's not the case and you probably aren't too you start looking at things in nature and in the world around you with more imagery in your head and you begin to be less negative how the world looks and start appreciating more of the beautiful things that we see day to day. Creating feels so much better than consuming and coming from someone who didn't have social media, I didn't have Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok for three years because I was just so sick and tired of just staring at my phone all day and comparing myself, just feeling bad about my life. YouTube was that one platform where once I got off of it, I still felt good about myself because I was spending time to learn on this platform. And now that I'm back on the social media platforms, I'm not spending so much time consuming things that are just random to fill up my time. I'm actually looking at things to improve my craft, to make my YouTube videos better, to make these edits better, see what I could do differently. And I'm getting inspired by like other creators that I consume. And the awesome thing is I have freedom to make choices with my videos. So now we're gonna turn this video into a vlog. Nowadays, we hear so much about delayed gratification, dopamine, instant dopamine. That's all over YouTube and you see that on Instagram and everything. But instead of hearing about it constantly, we should just implement it. And that's exactly what YouTube videos and making it the creative process and the editing is all about for me. The high I get off of finishing YouTube videos is insane. I feel so much joy and fulfillment from the editing process and finishing a YouTube video from start to finish. And I know we shouldn't focus on things out of our control, such as views or subscribers, but seeing my hard work and consistency starting to pay off and videos doing better is honestly the greatest feeling in the world. Also, I ran out of eggs, so I'm gonna take you guys to Target with me because we are bulking, and also to show you how YouTube helped me overcome some of these challenges. If you're wanting to start a YouTube channel and upload your first video, don't trip about it. You just have to edit the best you possibly could and just click upload. You know that first video is going to suck. Your editing skills are not going to be there, the shots you want and how you talk to the camera as well. But the most important thing is you just have to start and don't expect to be where you want to be with how your videos look until you make 100 videos because that is my goal. And I'm not gonna focus on finding a niche until then either. Also, another thing that YouTube has taught me is Comparison is literally the thief of joy. Comparing is okay, but how you feel about yourself after comparing, that's where the problem lies. Unfortunately, but also unfortunately, that first video that I ever uploaded, Life of Big Four Accountant, it did a lot better than I expected because I had very high expectations. I was like, uh, I can be like a good YouTuber. I can make good videos. Then my friends were very realistic and honest about how hard it is to get views. So my expectation shot down and it did a lot better than I expected. But then that also led me to like a delusional thinking of, oh, like this is gonna be easier than I thought. And the next few videos I made did not as good, which is part of the learning journey. So nowadays when I create these videos, I just try to make it as best as I possibly can and try to improve on it and expect less. Try to have like zero expectations. not buying any candles. This is just me wanting to get these shots, but being too scared to record in public. Set up my tripod. I'm gonna show you how it looks right now. And this is me overcoming my fears. If I want these shots and like, it's for my videos, I'm going to have to overcome them. And YouTube has taught me a lot about just not caring about what other people think. got the eggs secured, going back home now. But the whole point is I used to have like a lot of trouble facing criticism from other people. I can switch up however I want to make my videos, right? Like I can talk in such a happy tone like this and put happy music, yeah guys, like this is awesome. Like I'm doing this YouTube video. Wow, this is amazing. Or I could be like very monotone and just like 
a like put sad music over it. So this is how YouTube is going. Yeah, this is bad. And just make it really depressing. Or I could just be like my normal self and talk in like however pitch of a voice and the music choice that fits this scene the best and portray myself like how I want to. So you have to create, I guess, for yourself and not for others or what you think will do good for the algorithm because then you're not going to enjoy the creative process and making videos for yourself instead of making it for others and trying to force content out and it is scary to put yourself out there put yourself on social media the harsh reality is whatever persona you put on or just being your authentic self you're going to get judged and receive criticism no matter what so just stay true to yourself I assume if you're watching this YouTube video, you're probably interested in making a YouTube channel or your first video or you've been making it for a bit. I've been wanting to do YouTube since I was in middle school. Talking to my iPod Touch when I was in middle school, acting like I'm vlogging or recording a YouTube video. Back then, I just cared way too much about people's judgments and like, ah, what if it flops? But I'm just so glad I started and bettering my videos each time. All right, I'm back from Target and we are sitting in the lobby of my apartment. Another thing, last but not least, so corporate of me to say, the importance of documentation or importance of documenting your life. That's exactly what my channel bio says, right? And when I look at past videos I made, even six months ago, four months ago, I can feel like the emotions and remember them a lot more clear of what I was going through during like that specific period in my life of when I was making the video and also my friends and family across the country, and my families in Korea too, they get to watch my channel and my videos to see exactly what I'm going through in my current stage of life. And you get to leave something behind. It's like a digital footprint. I'm about to have to work because I have bills to pay. Once I get there and when I'm getting off work, I'm going to tell you more about any tips I would have had for myself before I started and for those of you who actually do want to start. I'm wrapping up work right now, but if you want to start a YouTube channel, here's some things I would recommend for you to start just so you can get ahead of their learning curve and not have to go through the amount of hours that I spend trying to learn some of these things. And the first is just staying consistent. If you set a schedule of I'm going to post one video per week and just stay true to that, you will learn a lot as well as improve on just your editing, the shots. So staying consistent is probably the number one thing. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to insert a video picture of the gear I use and link it all in the description below. I feel like this is the perfect setup. You don't need anything more than this. And some of it does cost a lot. Definitely worth investing in the equipment if you want to make better videos or take it, take it more seriously like as a craft. And it makes it a lot more enjoyable for sure to record and edit when you have like the proper gear. I also think YouTube is awesome to build like a personal brand and kind of a community. I reply to most of the comments that people leave on my video. Just hearing other people's stories and for me to be relatable to them means like not going through it alone. Your first videos will suck and just I would just say just keep making videos like I'm doing. I would just focus on what you can control which is the number of videos you can put out and the consistency and just trying to make your video better than the last one. And thank you so much for watching the video. I can keep improving my edits and the shots and hope it's getting better. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.